Well, from Hypnosis Health Info, I'm Roger Moore. We had a last minute cancellation today as a client that was out sick and had the opportunity to take advantage of that time and go back over some old emails that I had flagged to get back to. And, and I came across a report that was um, from the Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine dated October 19th of 2010 that was titled, Bre uh, Vegetables Reduce Breast Cancer Risk. Women consuming more vegetables have a decreased risk of breast cancer according to a new study published in the American Journal of Epidemiology. Researchers followed the diets of 51,928 participants in the Black Women's Health Study. Participants who ate two or more servings of vegetables per day had a 43% decreased breast cancer risk compared with those who ate less than four servings per week. Cruciferous vegetables, broccoli, cauliflower, kale, and carrots had the largest impact on breast cancer risk. You know, folks, I often hear from clients that I hate vegetables. I just don't like vegetables. I don't want to eat vegetables. I don't even want to like eating vegetables. And, um, and often th their memories and their experiences are vegetables are like me growing up, you know, it was canned green peas. And to this day, I can't imagine anything nastier than canned green peas. And I didn't consider canned green peas to be a vegetable. And yet I've also discovered that I really, truly love fresh peas, even frozen peas. I love them. Uh, but don't get me anywhere near the canned ones. But when we're going around and we're giving ourselves suggestions like, oh, I don't like vegetables, or I don't like squash, or sweet potatoes, or I don't like carrots, Remember, we're always in trance. We're constantly giving ourselves uh, hypnotic suggestions as well as being bombarded with hypnotic suggestions from the media and from uh, the people in the world around us. And when we're going around, I don't like vegetables, our unconscious mind goes, okay, I don't like vegetables, or okay, I don't like canned green peas, or I don't like carrots. The great news, though, is you do have the power to change that. And it can be quite simple, quite easy, using self-hypnosis and, and I happen to teach the light switch self-hypnosis technique and very simply what it is is you write down one or two or three suggestions and suggestions are always positive they're always present tense they should have some heart some passion to them um, some sometimes they need to be uh, specific you know if it's I drink more water well one raindrop would would satisfy that suggestion, but if you say I drink eight or more glasses of water per day, uh, so if you want to increase or decrease, you need to quantify, and you want to personalize it. Uh, generally, it's an I statement. You know, I love and enjoy my exercise. Some people would go to second person. You love and enjoy your exercise, and a few others would actually go to third person. They would write Roger loves and enjoys his exercise. For me, if I'm reading you love and enjoy or Roger loves and enjoys. It just doesn't fit. For me, it's a nice statement. But you write down your suggestion. I love, enjoy eating vegetables. I'm excited about trying new vegetables and new ways of cooking vegetables. One or two or three of them, no more than three. Read them over five times. And then you shut off your light switch. You take yourself deeply relaxed for one minute. And then bring yourself back up and start creating that desire uh, to love and enjoy vegetables or to exercise or whatever change you want to make in your life. And, and the way you use this, the light switch self-hypnosis is you want some sort of physical cue, an anchor that it's time to relax. I always suggest the index finger, but a lot of things you could do, you could tap your foot, you could squeeze your fist, some sort of physical cue that it's time to relax. And just imagine an endless staircase or escalator of, or uh, elevator of relaxation. Take yourself to a very relaxing place. I suggest outdoors somewhere. Uh, to me, it's Paipu Beach on Maui. I can feel that straw mat under my back, the heat of the sand coming up through the mat, the heat of the sun in my body. I hear the, the birds and the cardinals and the bushes behind me, the coconut leaves rustling, the waves coming in, and there's that, that sweet scent of plumeria mixed with the salt air, and I'm gone, very deeply relaxed. And you stay there one minute and you focus on the outcome of the suggestions. You don't want to be repeating the suggestions over and over for a minute. I love vegetables, I love vegetables, I love that. You'll drive yourself crazy. Don't do that. But imagine 
being deeply relaxed and just having a wonderful meal of vegetables and different see the vegetables in all the different colors and and the various ways they, that they can be prepared and and cooked and raw and steamed and roasted and grilled and baked and any other possible combination that's healthy and, and the different spices and and maybe they're more Cajun and have Cajun spices or maybe you have a really good curry sauce going or whatever lots of ways of, of cooking vegetables and making them wonderful and you can smell them you can taste them for one minute and bring yourself back up and start creating that desire to love and enjoy vegetables so look around here at hypnosis health info up there in the orange menu bar you're going to see a tab that says self-hypnosis and when you highlight that right below that comes the light switch self-hypnosis technique which takes you into all the details of how to use your light switch. The next drop down tab is written suggestions which tells you in detail how to use written suggestions. The next one uh, is power minutes or, which are one to four minute mp3 downloads that you can put on your droid or your uh, iPod. Uh, the next one is um, hypnotic suggestions which are all the suggestions that I've used uh, over the last three years. So there's over a thousand suggestions there. And you're welcome to use them word for word, but you, you want them to, have, to make sense for you. Uh, they're there to give you ideas on how to word your own suggestions. So if you're one of those folks that uh, is uh, you know, living off of uh, processed foods and fast foods and, and thinking that you don't like vegetables, then I invite you to try self-hypnosis and uh, learn that you can fairly quickly create a very healthy desire for fresh vegetables and or frozen vegetables. Frozen's great too. So take a look at the tools and resources here at Hypnosis Health Info. If there's any way I can support you, give me a call, send me an email. I'm Roger Moore and this is Hypnosis Health Info.